Hey guys, hope you're all doing good and welcome to our new video. So today we are going to be looking at kingpin inclination. Now the angle that the kingpin axis makes with the vertical is called a caster angle when you're looking at the car from the side view, correct? Now when you're looking at the car from the front view, that is basically called kingpin inclination. Now what's the sign convention here? Well, in this particular case, angles measured in clockwise is going to result in a positive KPI and if there is a negative, uh, KPI then basically uh, you know the kingpin axis is going to be the other way. Now let me teach you a shortcut. In general if the axis of the kingpin is inclined or is oriented towards the body then the sign convention is typically positive. So in this particular case you can see that uh, when the KPI is towards the right hand side it's actually going towards the body right and that's why theta is going to be positive whereas if the inclination is on the other side or away from the body it's going to be negative. Now having a positive KPI gives rise to something called a self-centering effect. So basically with positive KPI your body tends to rise when you're steering and this basically gives you the self-centering effect. That is when you let go of the steering the steering tries to come back to its original position. All right. Now having too much KPI is also not good because it can make the steering feel artificially heavy. With that I would like to conclude this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.